building and reshuffling it on the fly. It actually moves the pieces around to create the image that you want by just, it, it, it basically recomposes things as you move portions of it around. Wow, let's ship it, let's go. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it's Great. just, I mean, it's technology right now, but there's a lot involved in actually turning this into a product. I mean, you can see, I mean, we're going to worry about it actually looking shippable, you know, that you could actually print this stuff. This building here isn't perfect. It's just, there's a lot of stuff that has to happen into just making it usable, making it fast, and everything else. Can I speak to you for a second? <laughs> Kevin, we've got a thousand people sitting out there right now, and we have to show you one of them. I need you, uh, I mean, your focal views come up in about three weeks. <laughs> so, could you show them a little something nice right now? Well, I mean, we've never shown this. Kevin? We've never shown it publicly before. But Kevin? There's a thousand people out there who want to see something like that. <laughs> so, Kevin, do you have anything that we can show people that would Oh, uh, sure, Johnny. That? that would be great. <laughs> um, I've got this folder over here. There's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that white right So, um, so you know, as I mentioned, you know, we, we, when we have these technologies, it's not just a matter of just flipping a switch and it's it's a feature. You really have to think about how you uh, you know how you sort of integrate it in with what you have and make it work fast and responsive and actually give you the kind of results you want. So, one of the things we've done, which this we're working on with this patch match, is to figure out you know one of the most common things you might want to do is just remove something from the scene and have it be filled in appropriately. So here you can see I've got an image. It's, it's got no, um, you know, it's just a flat image. There's nothing there um, other than the one, one layer. And what I want to do is, let me take my quick select tool. I actually want to take this guy here and delete him from, from the scene. So I'll do, um, I'm going to expand that selection a little bit. Um, let's expand by 10 pixels, just so it's a little bit bigger. So normally if I delete him, it's going to fill him with the background color. But um, what, what we're working on the labs here in this uh, test version of Photoshop is we hit delete. And in here, and we're taking that patch mesh technology and we're using it as another version of this content aware type of thing in Photoshop. So it gives you the option of using content aware fill. I say OK. It's actually going to look at the surrounding image, basically treat that as a set of puzzle pieces that it can use to fill in that gap. Wow. Well, still, I, you know, I'll, I'm just going to show you one more thing we can do with the same feature. I mean, the thing is, we, what you don't want, again, you know, you've got cool technology, you don't want it to just be a thing that makes a cool demo, but you can't really use it day in, day out, so we've been experimenting other ways that this can come into play. So uh, here's another example here. I'm sure a lot of people out there have been creating panoramas in Photoshop now that we added uh, all that great stuff for, for merging and, and stitching images together. But you often, you do a panorama and you wind up with something like this with all these gaps around the edges. Um, and, you know, of course you could crop it down. Um, but, you know, if you crop it, then you can actually end up making your image a lot smaller. So here instead, let me just make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to try that same approach here and keep my fingers crossed. And it's going to look at the existing image and figure out, well, can I piece together that image to actually make a, a reasonable scene? To fill in those gaps around the edges. And the progress bar is just for effects, so you could actually. Oh yeah, because this will be instantaneous. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> See, instantaneous. Great effect. <laughs> Great <and flatter. laughs> wow. Okay, Kevin, you can keep your job another week. <laughs> Thanks. Perfect. Thanks, Kevin. We were celebrating the 20th anniversary. We wanted to look, uh, we looked a lot backwards and we wanted to look a little bit forward as well. And for you guys taking time to come celebrate with us, we wanted to show you some stuff that's uh, on the horizon. Now, again, that's going to be future technology. We're at CS4 today. You're going to see that somewhere down the road in, in something like CS Next or CS5, whatever you want to call that. A um, couple things I want to do now just before we wrap up is uh, we are very uh, honored to have uh, the two actual visionaries who actually came up with the original concept. 
uh, of a display technology which eventually came out to be Photoshop. And if we have the lights on or right here in the second row or third row, where are they? There they are over here, you're over to the left a little bit. If they could stand up real quick, it's John and Thomas Knoll. Some 20 years ago, with some mind-altering drugs, they actually came up with the concept, uh, and it's actually what it is today. Uh, and it is that because fast forward now 20 years, what started as as two uh, brilliant people and minds uh, putting their uh, their thoughts and, uh, and energy into this uh, turned out to be in the front row. I have now the uh, about six from two to 62 of our uh, engineers. If they could stand up, this is the actual team of folks who spend night and day for uh, 18 to 24 months actually building Photoshop. You guys can all stand up and face out. Uh, and Features, all those crazy things that you saw were dreamt up. Uh, this last round CS5 is absolutely going to blow you guys away when you see it. Uh, a lot of the previews have come in and just were extremely excited about what will eventually be here. Uh, and these guys, I just want to say heartfelt thanks for me and the entire team. And just want to leave you this one thought. We we'll let you out for three hours, back to work by night. And we'll see, by midnight tonight, I'd like to see Bug Report on my desk. Thank you guys very much. <laughs>